Come on. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes... There's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> no birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two.
Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Holy shit, Joshua is still alive. <laughs> Didn't think he was. I thought that after the Phoenix got stabbed, I thought it was all over for him. Holy shit. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Oh, fuck. How do I explain everything that happened to her? Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> I wonder what it's trying to say. It's the first time I've seen you out and about. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Hmm. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. That sounds painful. Aw, so this entire time he's been trying to talk to everybody, but no one can understand him but me? Poor little guy must have been lonely. Alright, I'll keep it secret, but, you know, if you want to talk to somebody, you're going to have to talk to me first. It's Sid's fault. He tied it too tight. There's nothing wrong with it. Stop it. <laughs> I can't believe Josh was still alive. Clive has no idea. He was the he was the dominant of Phoenix, so it would make sense he would have the ability to rebirth. <sighs> okay, Jill. What the hell happened to her after all this time? then it really is you it is Clive you're alive so are you I still can't believe it Your wounds healed. Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. 
The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Holy man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. Dude, that's fucked up. I was wondering what made her have to fight for those assholes. Well, I mean, I saw them threatening the children in the cutscene, but I had no idea the type of horrible things they were doing to her. And that's ever since Phoenix Gate, since she was like a little kid. Because that's when that happened. So she's been, like, enslaved by these assholes and working for them for maybe the equivalent of almost, like, Can what, almost 20 years? Longer. Almost, yeah, like, almost 20 years. Better after a hard day's work. No, not Just 20 years. Maybe, like, to follow every lead. Oh, okay. how old were they when they oh, were attacking Pink's Gate? They were still kids. That's insane to think how long she's been 
forced to do their bidding until her powers awoke and she became Shiva, the dominant. It's also crazy how long freaking Clive has been enslaved to work for the fucking Empire. I mean, shit. But what? But if that it truly is Joshua, which it has to be. There is no other Archon of Fire, right? It has to be him. Then what the hell? What the hell has he been doing all this time? Recovering? Trying to get his kingdom back? Or trying to find his own path, maybe? Well, let's see what this guy has to say. You! Newcomer! I need help! What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. All right, bud, we'll do this mission of yours. There's another quest too. You. Ah, Clive, I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. By the cage shouldn't be too hard, it should be right here. Oh, I'll chuck those. Mm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. The funny thing is, I've always loved Chocobos in Final Fantasy games. They've always been my favorite mounts. Some of the cutest little birds you ever see. What the... What the hell did he do? <laughs> Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Get it, Sammy. He thought you might be hungry. He 
wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Dude, I was kind of going through some shit. <laughs> I mean, if you knew the shit that fucking Clive has been going through, you would understand. I can leave whenever you're ready. Let's get this fixed before someone doesn't. Shit. Um. Hold on. Oh, it's under the bunks. I was about to say, it looks like it's below me. It is. Oh, down here. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. A bit like Kenneth now. Damn, I was curious about that door. I didn't know. I never came in here before, so I didn't even know he had a place for the elderly. Damn. This is really is like slowly becoming a better old city. I never realized it got so good here. Is it the Moogle Bunny? We just don't have enough teams to follow everything. Oh. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. I like this little place, man. I'm starting to like the people here. Kill bug? Oh yeah, that's something you can sell for high money. Nice. Nice. Um, okay, and the other guy said he had someone out in the open world, right? Ah. You yeah, know, there's someone here. Oh, there you go. Someone's in trouble. I'm coming. No, you don't, you sons of bitches.
get away from her, you son of a bitch. Spiders. Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, I've, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well... You should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Well, I'm glad so she at least is safe. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? There's another person right down there. Do they want to die from the spiders? That should be enough. I better get her um, back to the hideaway. Um, okay, I guess she doesn't seem to care. There's a lot of people out here. I'm surprised none, none of you bitches saw that she was being attacked by a fucking herd of spiders. You have magic. You could have helped her. What the hell? Alma, you can give those samples straight to the garden master. He's expecting them. There you are. And all safe and sound. Yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements, I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit, too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. That dude is an unbelievable asshole! I thought he actually cared about her. Like, I thought they were like working partners or something, or maybe even more. But all he cared about was fucking soil. I mean, I get it, the research is important and it helps them grow plants down here, but fuck's sake, he, like, a human life is more valuable than some dirt that you can go grab more of. <laughs> now, well, my research can continue apace. And when my At least she's okay. The you. Need expanding. <laughs> you, I have deep questions about. That guy needs a. That guy needs a thorough lesson about freaking showing some signs of humanity. Jesus Christ.